Hoping that today, that some of you will give your life to God. Amen. You know, we're interested today. I've a Christmas light going on by there. I want to tell you today, the main light is Jesus Christ. Amen. Your eyes cannot see enough. Your ears cannot hear enough. But when you understand who Jesus Christ is, you will know that Jesus Christ is the light that shines to everyone coming to the world. Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 5 that we are the light of the world. That's what we call us Christians. It is dark out here and we have come here today to share light into your heart. Light brings understanding. Light is liberation. And that liberation that has appeared to all men in Jesus Christ. When you know Jesus Christ, you have light in you. Right in the beginning, the Bible says God created the world and He said that be light. And Jesus Christ is the light that shines to everyone coming to the world. Every man has some light in them. Now you can suppress it, you can deny it, but you ought to know that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light that shines that the darkness cannot comprehend. In John chapter 3, Jesus Christ said that the joy men are coming to the world, but men love darkness rather than the light. Darkness in the Bible represents sin. When God created Adam and Eve, they disobeyed God, and through them, darkness came into the world. I'm talking about sin right now. And yet, in Colossians chapter 1, verse 3, the Bible says, Him have delivered us from the dominion of darkness into the marvelous light of his dear son Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Do you want some light in you? Accept Jesus Christ today as your Lord and personal Savior and that light will shine through into your heart because the gospel news of Jesus Christ is called the gospel of light. And we know what the Bible says. It's Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4. That the small chicken of this world have blinded the minds of those who refuse to accept the gospel news of Jesus Christ. What a cunt. The reason why you cannot accept the gospel is because there is a darkness in you. The Bible says when there is light, the darkness disappears. You put it in this way. When you come into a house, it's so dark, what do you do? You turn on the light and the darkness disappears. Today, when you invite Jesus Christ into your heart, and make him to be the Lord and Son of your life, he will remove darkness in you. Let me tell you, my dear friends, every one of us are born into darkness. I love the way King David put it. In Psalm 51 verse 5, he said, In sin, my mother conceived me. That's darkness. Even though as cute as the little baby is, the baby is born into darkness. Every one of us are born into darkness. Now, to come out of darkness is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, and you are born into the family of God, and there will be light in you. So my dear friend, you have a choice to make. Do you want to remain in darkness, or do you want to be transferred to the marvelous light of Jesus Christ? You have to make that choice for you. Jesus Christ to the Father says, as far as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. It is dark out here, my dear friends. We need to see some light. I'm not talking about the physical light that you are seeing. Even though it's good in the eyes, but the main light is the word of God that penetrates, it's like a seed that penetrates into the dark soil and then bring out fruit. Bring out fruit and stay bearing it. The word of God is that light. Jesus Christ said, He is the light of the world. He told the Pharisees, You are from below, I am from above. And he said he came down to show us the way. Jesus Christ is the way to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Jesus Christ tell us the Christians, we are the light of the world. Now as a Christian, you cannot put the light under the bush. He cannot put the light under the table. You must put the light on top of the table that the light may shine. And that's why we are here, my dear friend. You don't need to wonder anymore why we are here. We are here to preach to you the gospel news of Jesus Christ. So that you can be transferred 
from the domain of darkness into the marvelous light of Jesus Christ and his kingdom. Now the kingdom of darkness is being built on lies. It's been built on lies. The Bible says that there is a life from the beginning. Are you do you tell lies? There's a darkness in you. Do you sleep around? There's a darkness in you. Do you get drunk? There's a darkness in you. Do you do drugs? There's a darkness in you. Do you smoke? There's a darkness in you. And the only way to come out of that darkness is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And he will move you from the dominion of darkness of the devil and move you into the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God is built on righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The Bible says God is light and in him there's no darkness. Not even one. There's no darkness in God because light comes and darkness disappears. Let me tell you, friends, when Jesus Christ was born, he was born in the world full of darkness. And the Bible prophesied before he came that the people live in the dark, a great light has shone on them. That great light is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, he is the light of the world. And he said, as far as I'm walking on this night, I am the light of the world. And now we Christians, we are now doing his work because he authorized us to do this. And now we are shining the light in this dark place. It is dark out here, my dear friends. Amen. Amen. It is so dark that you don't even know it. Put it in this way. If you stay in a place that's a poop for too long, you will not smell poo anymore. Many of you today in the dark, in your sin, in your wickedness, in your immorality, you don't even notice anymore. And for you it is normal. But for God it's not normal because the Bible says God is light. In Him there's no darkness. And if you say you're not darkness, you are a liar because the Bible says all have sin and cause of the glory of God. And if we say we have not sinned, we deceive ourselves because the truth is not in us. So we have to repent. Do you want to come out from the darkness? The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and confess his faithful and just to forgive you from every unrighteousness. Unrighteousness, iniquity, transgression, rebellion, all these things are darkness. That's what sin is in the Bible. Darkness represents sin. 